stopped by Shoreline Park Boat Ramp to load up 10 pilings. We've got some 35 footers on here, some uh, 25s and some 30s for the next three projects actually. Got the cradle up secured to the other pilings. Now we're lifting the uh, top carrier beam out of the water. It's been in there for a while as you can tell since Hurricane Sally. That's called the Beach Marina. Got a couple rotten poles, or actually poles that were hidden during Hurricane Zeta, and probably Sally at the same time. But uh, we've got our barge moored up now, we're fixing to go home. We've been here working all day long, replacing pilings that have been uh, sheared off. This is what happens when it's 44 degrees out and you lose your hard hat. <laughs> Gotta go find it. All right, I'm standing right here. All right. <laughs> Just don't go underneath that barge. You won't be able no, to. I'm using my foot. Okay. To see if I can fill it. All right. Out. Back over here, installing mooring poles at Pensacola Beach. Got another eight-inch, 35-foot long piling. Fixing a stand up for mooring slip over here. We're putting the piling wrap on. We've got uh, three or two and a half wraps of piling wrap, so we're covering about 10 foot of the pole. We've got about eight foot of water, so at least we got enough sticking above the water line. We've got some down in the mud line. Here's another one of our stops going around Gulf Breeze up in Woodland Bayou now. We've got a rotten piling here. We're going to pull that up and replace it and tie it back. Get all the cross ties bolted back up. Looks like there's a lower rod going to the uh, forklift over here too, lifting this boat, so that supports that. It's a beautiful home of a nice, pretty sailboat moored up in here. Hey, we've got the new 25-foot pole installed, a new tie-back rod underneath, tying it to this piling over here. Got everything bolted back up. We also uh, extended the walkway over here. He was having a hard time getting his cover on, so we just added a little bit of a eye beam to the outside of it to make the uh, catwalk a little bit further out so you can walk along it and get your cover on. Got the barge pulling up to our next project now. We got a couple more poles to set over here. The customer decided to go with a boathouse instead of a four piling lift. So we'll be setting four additional eight inch, 35 foot poles on the outside here. Then a couple alongside the platform too. Here's another repair project we're getting started on this morning by the Three Mile Bridge. It's the pier right here. Missing some pilings out here. He got pretty much tore out during the hurricane, but he's missing a piling right here. And he needs me, needs me to come in here and to install a piling for him. He's doing the uh, rebuild himself. So we'll get over here, and I don't think our barge is going to quite fit in here, so we're going to have to remove one of the mooring pilings here just so we can fit up in here. Our barge is 21 foot wide. So we'll get up in here and get that one piling set right there so they can continue their uh, boardwalk out. Then we'll set the piling back and we'll get on the way. We've got another 10 pilings on the barge. We've got to get set somewhere else. Getting ready to replace this piling here that's missing. You see there's several poles here that are floating in the water and broken off. And we noticed there's some catwalks that survived. And a little further investigation, this is our style of catwalk. 
It's the only thing that has survived out here on this marina are the three catwalks that we built. Another 40 foot replacement piling right here. There's some deep water out here. It's a little over 20 foot deep. We got one of the dock pilings done already. Now we're making our way around to the other side. You can see another casualty of Hurricane Sally here. It's like the boat just beat up against the dock until it finally sunk. We took out several of the 10-inch pilings around here also. Just snapped them off. This is Perdido Key Oyster Bar and Marina. You can see that the building got a lot of damage from boats hitting up against the side of the building. This is a deck that goes around the restaurant. A lot of the pilings and the bracing have been broken off, so we're jacking it up and resupporting it. Trigger job Smith project. We're going to be installing a golden boat lift. It's not going to have any exposed parts of the lift seen. This is going to be a big deck lift. So the boat will come in and be able to sit on the deck. What's neat about that is that you can set the deck down in the water and put you some lounge chairs in there and kind of sit in the water. You're not on the muddy bottom if you got a muddy bottom or if it's too deep. Oh, he made it. <laughs> hey, Riker. You gonna drive the tractor? Excavator? <laughs> what is it? Excavator? No. <laughs> no. We got five of the six piling set. I've got the last one in the air right now. We put piling wrap on these also. Getting ready to get that piling set. Then we'll start assembling the uh, top carrier beams and uh, then the cradle after that. We're up in the bayou now, Bayou Tahar in Pensacola. We're pushing up to the next job. We got a four piling, 14,000 pound uh, golden boat lift we're fixing to install. It's way in the upper end up there, pretty muddy. So we're gonna be using some nine inch tip, 35 foot long pilings. And the nine inch tip means the smallest part of the pole is going to be nine inches. So the butt's probably close to 12 to uh, 16 inches. Get those installed probably about 12 to 14 foot in the ground and uh, get the lift installed. I believe in the future he's going to be uh, getting it permitted to put a boathouse on it. So we're going to go ahead and leave these poles up pretty high so he can uh, get a roof over top of it later on. 25 foot pilings right here, laying on the barge. Just about takes up the whole length. You got a 41 foot barge. Got all four of the lift poles set. Now we're fixing to head to our next project. up at the lumber yard now getting loaded up with the trex decking that we're going to be installed on the topless lift uh, we'll get that over there uh, probably loaded up on the barge and brought over so we don't have to hand carry it down these 20 footers get pretty hard to hand carry so uh, if y'all hadn't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button uh, hit the notification bell if you got any comments or questions feel free to leave them in the comment box and i'll get back with you as soon as i can and we've got plenty more projects coming up so y'all stay tuned thanks